One of my many students approached me earlier last week, walking down the corridor between classes. An incredibly polite young man called Ian. He's sitting at the front, anxiously moving around. He's a, a really nice guy, and I've never spoken to him before. And he directly asked me, do you want to host the event? My first thought, absolutely, fear. I've never done something like this before. What if I speak too slowly, too fast? What if people don't like my accent? That's my fear, Sorry about that. What if people don't like my accent? My accent is strange and alien in this country. What if people don't understand? What if you hear my voice and you think of all those bad guys from all those movies you've grown up watching? I'll show you a couple of bad guys now. This bad British man spent his whole life trying to kill a child. This British man tried to eat people. One for the older generation. And the next one, maybe you don't even realise that this guy was British as well. The worst villain of all time. <laughs> they even make the lion British. So this idea scared me, that's my point. But once I realised I was scared, I knew I had to push myself to make it to this event. Because I am like you. I've got questions about myself. You've come here today to hear people talk about how they're solving their questions in their own lives. If I was not standing here, I would be sitting there with you. So once I realized I was scared, that's when I knew I was going to do this. So a bit about me. I'm a British man with Irish and Welsh parents. My best friends are Palestinian and Lebanese. And perhaps the closest thing I had to a soulmate is from here, Taiwan. I think if I asked each person in my life what enlightenment means to them, what it is that brings light into the darkness of their lives, they would all give me different answers. As a teacher here at Fuxing, I know who brings the light into my life, and I get to see them every day. I'm going to let three of them take it from here. I want you to note the common themes in their story, a difficult feeling to overcome, and a guiding hand to help them. Should we play the video? Can you describe a time to me where you felt enlightened? Enlightened? Um, so in, when I'm in 8th grade, it was a very unlucky day. And to make it better, when I'm on the bus and the door was closed, I just found that I didn't have any money. I would say probably when my basketball coach uh, told me how to shoot properly, like with the correct uh, shooting stance and how I should get my energy to flow through my entire body. That was when I did my first bungee jump. So um, before I did my bungee jump, I started recalling all those videos about people screaming or shouting or clinging onto their coaches begging for more time. And I'm really afraid I'll become one of them. But my coach just calmed me down constantly and tell me that, look straight ahead and when I say bungee, just jump. But suddenly, a lady that I didn't even know her, she just fished into her pocket and took out 15 NT and handed it to me. And I was so touched by that exact moment. And I think that was when I was enlightened. What he told me that enlightened me was that no matter how many times I fall, I had to get up and keep on like keep on going. Many people are too like nervous or they are afraid to help people that need help. But I think don't be don't be shy to do something good because this is what's important. Because I realized that um, there are no hesitations in life. You just do it. Don't give yourself any time to hesitate. Once you make that step, well, maybe you will fail, but most likely you will succeed. If I offered you enlightenment or a million dollars, what would you take? A million dollars. <laughs> I would take enlightenment. Um, enlightenment, but that can't be a lie. Can we have a round of applause for my students here? <laughs> so the one thing that is true about enlightenment that we can all agree upon is that it means different things to different people. Ethan discovered the value of resilience. Melody, the art of kindness. Sharon, the power to dare. Different, but based on the same ideas of growth and discovery. This concept transcends boundaries and even time. 
Humans have sought enlightenment for thousands of years, from pre-Christ Buddhism to post-religious Europe. People have sought an awakening because their lives did not provide the answers that their minds were looking for. In today's modern world, I feel that many people have stopped asking those questions. But for us who are here today, I believe that we are still asking. We're still looking for our answers. So what does enlightenment mean for me? It can be summed up in a single Latin phrase, first written in Roman times and used later by Immanuel Kant during the European age of enlightenment. It was a, a slogan for the era. Sapir ord. Dare to know. So with daring comes fear, bravery, choice and action. To dare, we start with fear. Fear of the unknown. However, if we wish to be enlightened, we have to put that fear to one side and be brave. Because seeking enlightenment may not succeed at the first time of trying. Are you ready to fail? Then you make a choice. We must choose to seek enlightenment. It doesn't happen unconsciously. Yes, the thing that enlightens you might be a surprise, like Melody on the bus. But on some level, she chose to let that event shape her way of thinking. And that's what's the best thing of all. We make a choice. And you have come here today. That was your choice. And that was your action. So thank you for that action. So daring to know. With knowing comes understanding, acceptance, belief, and growth. Once we have dared, we are that much closer to our answers. Our daring actions bring us understanding, if we choose to let it in, if we choose to accept it. Something which is very hard for a lot of people, it means admitting to yourself that the way you thought before was not correct. And that's not easy. Then we often turn that acceptance. The acceptance is more reasonable, but you have to make it deeper. You have to make it more emotional, and for me, that is belief. Once we believe in what we have learnt, we can feel ourselves becoming more confident and connected with the world and the people around us. Belief. And with the belief comes growth. Something so satisfying and natural to everyone. We all believe and want to grow. Today, as our fantastic speakers tell us about their stories of daring and growth, I want us to think back or forwards to the growth we have had or want to have in the future. So I want you to think of your own search for enlightenment right now. I want you to think the answer that you want to know. What would it take to find that answer out? What action would you have to take? We all want answers, but sometimes we don't even know what the questions are. What if I quit my job? Or quit my school? Don't quit your school. What if I took up that hobby? What if I told that person who I love, that member of my family, that I love them directly, because I do? It could be something, it has to be something scary, it has to be daring, it has to be something you haven't done before. I'm going to write my question down now. There are people at the side of the room who may be giving out post-its now. If you have a pen and paper with that, I would like you to write down your question. I want you to think, what is the answer you're looking for? I'm going to write my question down right now. Okay, thank you. For me, I look forward to sharing my question with you at the end of the talk, okay? So when we're finished today, I feel that our listening will have created new hope for what we can achieve and do. And yes, absolutely, that is a kind of enlightenment. So thank you very much for trying. I YouTube <laughs> I feel that together today we had three completely different experiences, and I'm sure that one or more of them connected with you in some way. Whether you're connecting the different parts of your life, like Betty, taking massive steps that can turn your whole worldview around, like Jody, 
for balancing all of your passions and your goals at once and finding the rules that can help you succeed in every way you want to succeed. We've heard great stories today, and I think that some of them will have connected with some of us. Okay? I just want to share what I wrote on my piece of paper, and my stomach is still very nervous after speaking Chinese. I said, what if I dared to speak Chinese for 10 to 15 seconds? Did you, under <laughs> did you understand what I said? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you dared to come here today, and to dare is to know. Thank you.